Luke and Tom here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and we are going to show you a little about kayak safety. <laughs> if you go kayaking or canoeing, a real danger is falling out. Okay? If you fall out of your kayak or canoe by yourself, then the question becomes, how do you get back in? Now, if you're close to shore, you can swim your kayak back to shore and get in that way. But if you're in deep water and you need to get back in, and you're by yourself, it can be pretty tricky. Um, now, if you're a little guy like this dude, it's pretty simple because you don't tip the kayak over trying to get in and out. But if you weigh 250 pounds like me, um, it's like watching an elephant seal try to get on the beach. So, I'm going to show you a trick. Now, a lot of people, when they fall out, they'll try to get back in by climbing in over the side. Okay? And if you're really careful, you might be able to do it. But if, you're, but if you weigh 250 pounds, and you're in a small canoe or kayak, it's really hard, especially in canoes, because canoes sit higher out of the water, okay? Kayaks are a lot more forgiving in this situation, especially this is a tandem kayak, so it's a lot bigger, okay? Fat man in a little boat. Oh. Are you? Oh. There is a better way to get into a kayak or canoe if you fall out. Let me show you. So this is how you do it. And that is how a fat man gets into a little boat. Let me show you that one more time, okay? Come in on the tip, okay? Shove it down. And there you go, you're in. Now, one thing is if you do this on a canoe, there's less surface area right here. It's easier to swamp the boat with a canoe. However, it takes a little bit of time to swamp a canoe. So, do it quickly. And even if you're swamping it, you can get in quickly. You won't bring in, that, you won't take on that much water. If you fall out of a kayak on a windy day, it can be very dangerous. An empty kayak will travel very quickly when the wind pushes against it. If you fall out, you better start swimming quick for that kayak or you're gonna be on your own. That's why we always wear life vests in canoes or kayaks. Because there's lots of situations that can really get you in danger, even if you're a good swimmer. Getting back into a canoe or kayak that's empty is a lot easier than getting into one that's swamped. So let me show you some tricks about what to do if you swamp your kayak or canoe, okay? So with that... Okay, your canoe's flipped over. It actually hasn't really swamped yet. But what you do is you go underneath it and I'm grabbing the opposite gunnel, the, on the opposite side, and I'm gonna push up while I pull down. Okay? Now we're pretty well swamped, okay? So what you do Mommy. is you start bailing with whatever you can. Hey, Tom, Tom, start splashing the water out, buddy. And you do this for a very long time. Oh, see, I already, I already got about another inch of freeboard from doing this, so let's just keep going. 
the fatter you are, the more you're gonna need to do this before you get in the boat. By the way, this is much, much easier in a kayak, especially a big tandem kayak. I wish I could have shown you on my canoe, but someone stole it, so we're doing the kayak today. Mommy, I'm Okay, at this point I've bailed out all but about an inch of water in the bottom, and now we're going to get, get on. Less gracefully this time, but I'm in. Uh, I am not going to let that big flip over on me. And that is how you get into a canoe or kayak when you swamp it. All in all, that process only took about two or three minutes. So this is something you can do pretty quickly. Um, but uh, once again, it's much more forgiving, a lot easier in a kayak than it is a canoe. Additionally, this is why you don't overload canoes or kayaks. Because if you're just getting into an empty canoe or kayak, it's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. If I had 200 pounds of gear strapped in here, oh boy, that'd be a problem. Though the one upside is, is if you do have gear in your kayak or canoe, you can shift it around to be like a counterbalance. The same way you would use a friend to help you get in. If there's two adults in here, you want the lightest guy to go in first. And then once he's in, he can you be a counterbalance to help bring in the other person. Once you guys are in, if you want, you can bail out the remaining water or paddle to shore and dump out your canoe or kayak. Did you know some kayaks are designed for you to stand up and fish in? Kayaks like this tandem Old Town Excursion 2 are fabulous for fishing from. I could stand up and fish from this thing, paddle from it, never fallen out except when I want to. Thanks for watching the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We hope you like this video. If you'd like to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. That's right. We put out new videos every week. Is this, is this fun?